there. So I'm coming to you today from beautiful sunny Niagara on the lake. Um, as you can see, I'm actually standing in the middle of a vineyard here. I'm here celebrating the sixth wedding anniversary with my husband, um, which is super fun. And we really like this place. So if you haven't ever been here before, I highly recommend coming to check it out. It's sort of Canada's answer to the Napa Valley. Um, and it's it's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. And I believe the winery that we're at today is called Hillebrand and we're just kind of having a nice lunch and we're planning to rent some bikes and go biking later and it's going to be really good. I wanted to talk today a little bit about something um, that I think is an issue for a lot of people and that is why it's so important to forgive. Now whenever I talk about um, forgiveness it sort of ruffles a lot of feathers because right up right away people I think aren't naturally inclined to forgive. Forgiveness is a conscious choice and they also think that forgiveness implies somebody else but actually forgiveness is really all about ourselves. It's all about you. Allow me to explain. Pretty much all of us have had a situation where someone has hurt us or made us angry or really caused us a great deal of pain. Uh, to be alive and to be a human being is to most, for the most of us, is to experience some kind of pain. Someone will have wronged us in our lives at some point or another, probably more than one person. And we may have a tendency to hold on to the anger and let it stay with us. And the idea of forgiveness seems to imply that um, a lot of reasons people get their back up against it and they don't want to forgive and, and when I suggest forgiveness, that, you know, they immediately say, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to forgive them. They don't deserve it. It's not about them. It's about you. And here's my definition of forgiveness and why it's so important for you to do it. Forgiveness isn't about saying. A lot of people think it's about saying that what somebody else has done or the pain that they've caused you, that you're now okay with it. So they sort of attach a complacency or a, a, an agreeableness or a consent to the idea of forgiveness. And that's not what it means at all. It means basically that in my view, forgiveness is this. You're saying to yourself, you know what? You hurt me and I didn't deserve it. And I'm done being angry and that's it. That's what forgiveness is. It's about you letting go of the pain and anger and suffering that holds you back in your life and has no effect on anybody else's life. And it doesn't mean that you need to stay in a relationship or continue on in a relationship with someone who may have hurt you or caused you that pain, but it does mean that you simply let go of the emotional baggage that may be holding you back and lowering the quality of your everyday life. So I want you to start thinking about forgiveness in a radically new way. It has nothing to do with somebody else and everything to do with you. And once you decide to forgive somebody for some kind of pain that they may have caused you, you get to decide from then whether you want to stay in their lives, whether you don't wish to stay in their lives, whether you need to create distance, whether you can stay the same way that you always have been. That part stays separate. Forgiveness is completely independent of the logistics that you decide uh, with respect to a relationship. So that's all I wanted to share with you today and I hope you have a lovely day and if there's anything or anyone that you're holding on to or feeling that you're holding on to some anger towards today and you've been holding on to it for a long time, I encourage you, I challenge you to let it go. And by let it go, I don't mean just envision your anger going. I mean really accepting the fact that sometimes people hurt us, but you don't have to stay angry. That's a choice for you. I'm Natasha. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.